Okay, now we have Aaron Worsham, who's going to be talking about why geeks love wood. <laughs> I don't you talk nearly as fast as everyone else here, so okay, um, there's going to be some little gaps, so I apologize for that. So wood geeks walk among us, cross the, prom cross the passion of handworking an affordable material with the desire for collecting ridiculously expensive power tools and an appreciation for plaid, and you have a wood geek. Now, wood geeks throughout history were finding ways to express their compulsive natures. H.O. Studley's Wood Chest, 1850, is a beautiful example of art in fastidious arrangement. Were he alive today, he'd probably be a comic book collector. <laughs> Carpenters and furniture makers of the period were not just educated craftsmen, they were engineers. These equations dealing with arcs and circles would be in any furniture maker's field guide of the era. This chair is a successful combination of a passion for proportion and awareness of mathematics. Where I had to draw concentric squares, you would see Fibonacci's golden ratio working throughout. It was actually created by master artist in San Maloof. Now, snapping back to the present, modern wood geeks owe a great debt to a, gentle, a quiet gentleman in flannel who made it okay to talk openly and enviously about another man's wood shop. <laughs> Woodworking has an inner logic, like programming. Here we have a reusable bit of object-oriented code called a jig. Most typical wood geeks would have more jigs in their wood shop than ironic t-shirts in their closet. <laughs> like programming, woodworking has its own debuggers. This is 220. <laughs> also like programming, there is a compile step. It's called dry fit. And it tells you, you may, lets you align your pieces to see what works and what's going to crash it glue up. Never forget the dry fit. <coughs> the world working community is jumping. These are just the issues that ship this month. Combine this with sites, blogs, screencasts, podcasts, TV, radio, and conventions, and you have the mother of all time saying, perfect for a hobby. <laughs> Woodworking is sexy. Just ask Pam. <laughs> well, for the wood geeks in the audience, there is a girl standing next to that very attractive drill press. <laughs> My wife hates this life. <laughs> Woodworking is kick-ass engineering. On the top, 60 to 0 in 3.4 seconds using friction calipers. On the bottom, 25,000 to 0 in 1 two hundredths of a second using dynamite. <laughs> kick-ass. You can group wood geeks in many ways, like operating system preference. Here we see an Apple wood geek in their Italian design wood studio. Off, off camera you might see an espresso uh, machine or a DKNY shop apron. <laughs> Your Unix wood geek is really only concerned with an ever glowing collection of power tools. But watch out, they can get a lot done if, if and when they ever find enough outlets. <laughs> this looks like my shop. Of course, Windows has its wood geeks too. <laughs> really, every wood geek is unique. Some want to work with their hands. This wood geek is making a draw knife stool. Now, we know it's an actual wood geek in this picture by the epic beard. <laughs> Others want to interface at higher levels. This is a CNC programmable wood router. They actually make hobbyist versions of this robot for guys who want to make a thousand spice racks over a weekend. <laughs> the end, however you get here, the final piece is what matters most. Geeks are artists, ladies and gentlemen, and wood geeks represent with pride. I like this piece because it really challenges the senses. In the end, I'm oh, sorry, how many of, uh, for many of us, this was the first real woodworking project. Downstairs with Dad, standing for hours, and remembering how his dad, your grandfather, did the same with him years ago. Really, as we got older, the project just got bigger. This is Splinter. It's a real car. It was actually created by industrial artists to prove words versatility matches its beauty. So my suggestion to potential wood geeks is simple. 
Get an issue of any woodworking magazine and do a weekend project. Make a spice rack, but have fun with it. Remember, from now, remember a year from now, when you're planning your first wood shop, there is nothing wrong with sitting, with parking on the, <laughs> parking on the driveway all year long. Thank <laughs> you.